Hey, what's up guys? David Bay here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We are at the Geared Up Meetup here at the Montanary Bros Powerhouse Gym in New Haven, Connecticut. As you can see behind me, we got a huge crowd of people here. What we also have is some of the biggest names in the IFBB with the Arnold just seven weeks away. I can give my predictions all day long, but what we're going to do, go talk to some of the pros and see what they have to say about who's going to walk away with the win who's the dark horse, and everything else in between for the upcoming Arnold Classic. Let's get to it. All right, David Bay here with IFBB Pro Ken Jackson. Ken, we are seven weeks away from the 2016 Arnold Classic. Uh, a deep lineup, as always, at the Arnold. Some guys looking to make their imprint. I want to get your top three and a dark horse. What do you think? <laughs> well, if you look at the lineup, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's really deep. You know, Kai hasn't competed in a year, so we're looking to see what, what he's going to do. He's all rested up, so he should come looking crazy. Um, you got Cedric, you got Justin, you got Branch, who showed last year he's not done yet. So, really, I mean, <laughs> it's yeah, no, you know, I need a top, exactly. top three. And then you got Evan. So, <laughs> make the call. Who's your top three? Well, I, I see Kai's going to be in the top three. Um, I, I think Justin will probably be in the top three because he was in the top three last year. So if he improves on his physique from last year, he should be in the top three. And you know what? To be honest with you, if Cedric ever nails it 100%, I don't think anybody can step on st stage with Cedric. I mean, he's a beautiful poser. He's got beautiful lines. You know, he's just got to bring 100%. So I think there's your, your top three. Evan's running around here somewhere. I might have to go catch up with him, <laughs> see what his opinion on that is. All right. Now, as far a dark horse. Now, the Arnold Classic... There's a lot of big names, so there really shouldn't be a dark horse. But a couple, a couple names in here that guys could impress. Who, who do you would pick if you had to pick one? Well, I mean, this is going to be, you know, other than Juan stepping on the Olympia stage, you know, Juan could bring it and step into, you know, that top three. Um, Juan's always going to bring every year that he's done a big show, he's improved. Um, you know, you got that Jordan kid. Um, what is it? Not Jordan, uh, Lenowitz. Um, Josh Lenowitz. Josh. Josh who came off a stellar end of the year season. So you got him too. So, I mean, those guys can definitely step in in the place of those one, two, three, four, five, you know, top five guys. All right. So we got Cedric, Kai, and Justin finishing your top three. Josh Lenowitz as a dark horse. We're going to find out in just seven weeks how accurate Ken is on his predictions. Moving on. All right, Sean, we're seven weeks out from the Arnold. We got a ton of pros here trying to get some opinions from the real experts, the pro bodybuilders themselves. I need your top three and a dark horse pick for the 2016 Arnold Classic. Who you got? Man, that's a tough list. That's a very tough list. Uh, everyone on that stage belongs there. Everyone's a champion. You know, I'm going to go with experience here. My top three off the bat, um, obviously Kai being a favorite going into it. Obviously Kai's a champion. Um, Second, I'm going to go with Cedric. Cedric's got the aesthetic look like myself. He's got a class, classic posing routine. Looks great on stage. You know, if I'm going to go with third, I'm going to go with my boy Justin. You know, he, he and I turned pro together at 2012 Nationals. The guy's a freak. These guys put on muscles, leaps and bounds. So I'm going to go with my top three there. The dark horse, you know, this is anybody's game. Anyone can come out of the woodwork. But I've, I've been, you know, keeping my eye on a couple of guys. The guy Josh that works with uh, Chris Cormier. Josh Lenowitz. That guy, you know, I was very impressed with his look this year. And uh, the guy Lucas as well. Lucas, I think he was two twelve. Lucas Weiler. No, he he won the uh, he won the Arnold uh, the Arnold Amateur last year. The super heavyweight, big dude. Yeah, he's very big dude. I was very impressed with his physique as well. So he can go either way this show. You know, those those two those two guys, Josh and Lucas, are definitely my standout draw horses. All right, there you have it. Another one, two, three for Kai, Cedric, and Justin. Josh Lenowitz, no surprise, dark horse pick once again. Appreciate it, Sean. We'll find out in seven weeks just how accurate you were with those picks, all right? Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Dom Cardone. Dom, we're seven weeks out from the Arnold. Give me your top three and a dark horse pick. Who can step up and surprise some people? Uh, well, there's a lot of big names doing the show. Um, we'll have Kai first. You know, Kai had a long time off. I think he, you know, got a lot of rest. And I finally think, he, you know, his mental mind state uh, is where it needs to be again. And if Kai comes in shredded, nobody's beating him. He's at his biggest he's ever been. Um, in second, I have Justin. Justin's already in shape. Uh, he looks like he put on a tremendous amount of size from pictures and videos he's been posting. Uh, I really like, you know, his, his lines, his shape. He has the density, the thickness. If he comes in, you know, peeled to the bone and dry, he'll come in second. In third, I have Branch. You know, Branch is probably going to, of course, come in condition as always. Um, he'll definitely be improved. He's been improving. Um, 
And in fourth. No, one, two, three. That, that's, that's all you get to pick. That's it. Top three. So we're going with Kai, Justin, and Branch Warren for your top three. Now give me a name who can come out and really surprise some people. Like we were speaking before, Lucas and uh, Josh. I don't know the last names. Uh, Luke, Lucas Weiler won your Arnold Amateur last year. Josh Lenerwitz won a couple of pros. San Marino, I think the Ferrigno Legacy last year. Yeah, they both have incredible shape, really good size. They both came in very good conditioning. Um, what I like about the most is like their shape, the waist, the, the wide shoulders. I'm sure they'll be much thicker. Um, those are my, definitely my dark horse. I don't have a choice between one, but, you know, but they're definitely the two. All right, guys. There you heard it from Dom. We got Kai, Justin, and Branch rounding out your top three. And once again, Josh or Lucas as your dark horse for the 2016 Arnold Classic. We're going to find out in just seven short weeks. Appreciate the time, Dom. All right, I'm here with John De La Rosa. John, we're seven weeks out from the Arnold Classic. Uh, it seems like one that always creeps up on you right away in the beginning of the year. Big lineup, as always, with the Arnold. Here's what I need. I need your top three, and you can't be wishy-washy with me. you got to give me a top three <laughs> and a dark horse, somebody that can come out and surprise people. Go. I'm going to take my top three as uh, Kai Green, Justin Compton, and Cedric. All right, now as far as the new posing round, that, that helps Cedric. Uh, that's got to that's play in his favor. Yeah, I think it's a great addition. Um, I, I, for me, personally, I'm, a, I'm a, little, a little shy up on stage when I'm doing my posing routine, so that's going to push me to really put more thought into my posing routine. For somebody like Cedric, it's great because he's always got amazing posing routines. He, he displays his physique very well. So, yeah, I think it'll help him in those rounds for sure all right now give me a name of somebody who can come out and surprise some people that might be flying under the radar i'm gonna go with cody for this one i don't particularly think he's gonna you know break top five or maybe top three or whatever but i think him getting up on that stage is gonna really say a lot about him and and the maturity that he's got going into the sport um i think he's gonna surprise people in the terms of how he looks against some of the pros but you know Competing against somebody like Kai and Justin, you know, they got a little bit more experience under the belt, so I think that'll show as well. Yeah, he's going straight for jumping off into the deep end, so a bold move for Cody. Smart young kid, though. I think he'll do great. So, all right, man, we appreciate your time. Get back to your fans, and it's going to do it for us, guys. All right, I'm here with Dusty Hanshaw. Dusty, seven weeks out from the Arnold. I need two things. Your top three, and you got to just you got to give them to me. No, uh, no, 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 no none, none of that. No back and forth. Right top three. And maybe a, a dark horse, somebody that can surprise some people. All right, so obviously one for me is Kai. But with that, I want to see an embarrassing win is my hope. Just for the sport, I would love to see him come out and just slaughter the lineup. We'll see if that happens. Uh, number two is said. I'm just real hopeful on that one. And then uh, it's a toss-up, actually, but I'm going to go three with Compton um, just because I haven't seen Compton posing yet. And I think that was one area, as big as he is, he could, still could have been better last year. But... As good as he is, that might not matter. So, one, two, three, right there. All right. Well, I can tell you because we got posing coach Kenny Wallach here. Justin's actually working with Kenny. You guys know is one of the best in the business. So, as far as polishing up posing, we know that's going to happen. As far as a dark horse, now it's the Arnold. A lot of big names, so it's hard to kind of pick a dark horse. But uh, out of the names on that list, anybody that might jump out and surprise us? Um, I don't know. It'd be a surprise to a lot of people, but. After seeing, like I was like telling you earlier, I saw a picture of Max Charles just yesterday, and I think he's going to surprise some people. I think that uh, Max is going to be a guy that comes a long way. His legs look bigger. Um, he's already super hard, and he's very heavy as hard as he is. So I think he's uh, mid-280s right now and super tight. So he'll be a surprise. All right, guys, there you have it. Another one, two, three for Kai, Justin, and Cedric. Looking at Max Charles to come out and make some waves here at the Arnold Classic. Appreciate the time, Dusty. We'll let you get back to the fans. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with Chris Tuttle here at the Montanary Bros meetup. Chris, seven weeks out from the Arnold. I need your top three and a dark horse or somebody who could come out and really make some waves. Go. Well, I'm going to say, you know, who knows? If everybody's on, I could say probably Kai, Justin, Cedric Revan. <laughs> you slay. <laughs> I was telling everybody, you got to give me a top three, but we'll, we'll let that roll. Kai, Justin, Cedric Revin, uh, somebody who can come out and surprise people, make some waves. I want Cody to come out and surprise some people. Him being young and his credible physique he's got, you know, um, I'd like to see him come out. 
think a lot of people are pulling for Cody. Jumping, uh, you know, getting into some deep waters, some shark infested waters his first time out. Definitely a bold move, but we like bold moves, so best of luck to Cody and everybody else. All right, man, we're going to let you get back to the fans. Thanks for the predictions. All right, here with Jose Raymond. Jose, we got the Arnold Classic coming up in seven weeks. I already know who your pick is going to be for the 212 win. Uh, let's talk the Open Class. Give me your top three, and then somebody who is a, a dark horse or might come out and surprise some people. Top three will be Kai Compton and uh, possibly... The Janowitz kid. Is that how you say it? Josh Lenowitz? Lenowitz. Lenardowitz. You think Lenowitz comes ahead of Evan, Cedric, Max, all those guys? I think he's huge, he's conditioned, and he's pretty. He's got billowing quads, wide shoulders, small waist. Billowing quads. Yeah, yeah, they're huge. I mean, he's the only one with that shape that can stand next to Compton and Kai with that shape. If he's conditioned in 260 or whatever he was... He's going to be damn hard to beat. Um, that said, you know, you can never count out Branch. If Cedric brings it all together, he can wipe them all out. I think Evan's going to be in the top five, six. And slipping right outside that will be Cody at, like, number seven. All right, man, there you guys have it from the 212 champ himself, Jose Raymond. Jose, appreciate the time. Best of luck coming up in seven weeks to you.